enterprise lease options. Mr. Hickson. Thank you, Mr. Christian. I do have uh, something for us to consider. If, if you remember, uh, I discussed uh, probably close to several years ago, right after I came here, uh, that the county commission had entered an agreement with uh, a large uh, truck company um, to purchase solid waste trucks at government pricing. And then they use those a couple of years and then turn the lease back in. And most times they are able to uh, submit that lease with an equity built up because of the low purchase price initially of those vehicles. And we have uh, been in consult with uh, uh, Enterprise. Uh, you may know them as Enterprise Rent-A-Car, but they also have a fleet division and they have very similar pricing for us for, for Hawkins County school vehicles. Uh, for example, uh, 10 to $15,000 savings on the cost of a work truck for our maintenance uh, crew that we can use two to three years and sell back for more than what we purchased it initially for. So we have equity built in those vehicles. We can roll that equity into subsequent vehicle purchases and it uh, has no mileage limits or anything like that. So here to give us a little bit of detail before you uh, consider this uh, for action is Seth Roten from um, maintenance and uh, he'll attempt to answer any of your questions, give you an overview of the program. Cannon's also on Zoom. Got any further questions? Well, but uh, I'd sent out an email as well as a paper copy of what those pricing would be for the vehicles. Now, this would not only cover the maintenance, but it would also cover transportation and technology as well. But it covers every fleet vehicle that we would have within the county school. Uh, we propose to look at doing uh, just two vehicles right now with what we have remaining in our budget line item for vehicles and equipment. And uh, I ran a quick number check back there while I was sitting and we're looking at a van and a truck. The van would be for one of our electricians slash HVAC guys. And the truck would be our plumber truck. The plumbing vehicle, uh, that truck would require a utility bed. So if you'll notice on there, the big pile of papers after that first sheet has Creech quotes. That is the equipment that would be put into the vehicles. It does have the labor costs and the equipment costs for those. We only have to pay 25% of those equipment costs. So we're gonna get them in a fourth of what we would have to pay for them if we were to buy the equipment for the vehicle that we would have to purchase as it is. So with a van and a truck currently for a 12 month period, with the equipment at 25%, we're looking at a little under 16.5 versus what we currently do is we have 60,000 budgeted for, we try to buy three vehicles a year, rotate our fleet. And it's getting harder and harder for us to find quality used vehicles at low mileage for 20,000 or less. So that's why we're trying to look at something like this. As Seth uh, stated, uh, we would just simply like um, board approval if we can get that tonight to uh, attempt to purchase up to two vehicles under our current proposed budget. We're not uh, we're not adding to our budget. We're not amending our budget, but within our currently approved budget for vehicle purchases for Hawkins County Schools, we'd like to uh, purchase two vehicles through Enterprise between now and June, see how we like dealing with the company, see what the program's like, see the pros and cons. And if we like it, we would like to move into July 1st with the correct budgeted amount and a plan to work out the rest of our vehicle replacement through this program if we like it. I'm sorry, I had to step away for a second. My question is this, if we go ahead and get two vehicles, are we replacing existing vehicles? It would be, yes. What do we do with the existing vehicle? Surplus? It would, they would Currently, be surplus yeah. just like they normally would be. Now, Enterprise has offered to sell those vehicles for us, but that would come in at an, at an additional cost. And the vehicles that we're replacing have multiple hundreds of thousands of miles on them. So I would recommend we probably just go through the surplus process and get rid of those just like we would any other vehicle. Okay. The, uh, the vehicles that we roll through in, in this program, so let's say we get uh, four or five over the next year and a half, 
uh, or more. Uh, when it comes time to turn those back in, Enterprise takes uh, delivery of those, they deliver a new vehicle to us, and then they're responsible for selling those vehicles and rolling that equity back into our purchase of the new vehicles. And there's unlimited mileage on these vehicles? No mile, uh, there's, there's no not. mile uh, penalties of any kind. Well, each board member is going to get a car. <laughs> <laughs> It is one of those things that when you when you sit down, we've had uh, I think five different presentations from this individual from Enterprise, and the first time I thought, nah, that's this is too good to be true. It's it's like that solid waste program that that the commission utilizes, but uh, it truly is the the government pricing at least right now makes a lot of sense to enter into this uh, this type of uh, program and ensure that our our staff are driving dependable vehicles that we're not putting a lot of maintenance dollars in. Creech Group is just like a third party of the enterprise. Person. It's basically yeah, a third party for them for the equipment. A lot of the equipment that, that they're leasing, we would have purchased for a vehicle that we would buy. That's inside. like enterprises actually. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, that's that's completely through them. Uh, the, but do we already have part of the equipment that goes back into? Are we going to sell that with the? There are, surplus. there are some cases on newer trucks that have service bodies where they could look at moving the service moving body over, over to the yeah. new chassis. So there are cases where we could save even more money, but the trucks that uh, Seth are talking about, the van and the truck, significantly wear and tear on those. So we would we would present uh, or, or recommend that we replace uh, the service bodies, the racks, and the vehicles in this case. A lot of times with the ladder racks and things, those are universal. But with the surface bodies specific to the vehicle, so these trucks are GM or Chevy. The surface bodies that we have currently are Ford. So I don't know that they would match up. Probably can't strip them. You're not going to get us down on it. Right. And that, that, that may be all I know here, but I do not know. And we wouldn't be in any. Now I was worrying about uh, quote getting quotes. It's through, uh, and I'm just thinking the whole gamut. If uh, it was, on, they're on by board on these horses. They're used by any government agency within the state of Tennessee. Okay. Minimum, uh, the minimum or or value government pricing program is met through the. I believe they use. All right. But we are not required to get uh, bidding. There's very few companies that actually do this program. They have the fleets available because of their buying power yes yeah. <laughs> is uh, anyone entertain making a motion for approval or would the board rather delay or take no action Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make that motion to approve uh, going forward uh, for a trial basis with the first two vehicles with Enterprise. I'll okay, second. We have a motion. And we I'll have a second. second. We, we got you. Thank you. <laughs> so is there any further discussion? If not, Ms. Jennifer, call the roll, please. Boyd. Yes. Carl. Yes. Kristen. Yes. Craddock. Yes. Yeah. Evan. Yes. Yes. Try.